It is our traditions, ceremonies, and rituals. Each small detail carries a deep layer of our ancestors' wisdom. It is our pride, our treasure, our national encyclopedia. Let's turn the pages of this encyclopedia together. Jigit. This is the general name which Turkic people have long given not only to a young man and good fellow, but also to a skillful, clever, and brave rider. Among Europeans, only soldiers and members of the upper class had beautiful riding skills. But in nomadic populations, every boy could ride a horse. The secret of this talent comes from a special upbringing of a little nomad. Nowadays, tradition where the young riders participate in Baiga is still alive in Kazakhstan. It is the oldest and very popular kind of horse racing. Passion for horses, endurance and excitement and a warrior spirit. These are the skills which every young jockey should have. Sitting on horseback, a boy should ride a lot of kilometers in the heat and the cold, overcome different obstacles with fans screaming. He should be ready for any challenge. He should justify the name of Jigit. The birth of the successor in the Kazakh family was followed by a series of special rituals. Some of them are still alive and performed among us. For example, Kazakhs still have the tradition of gifting fowl to a newborn baby. This fowl is called basire. Relatives trust that the boy and fowl will grow together, and when the time comes, the son will ride this horse. <laughs> While putting the baby boy in a bisik, parents put kamshi in a knife. The items which are inherent to the boy wishes the son become a wealthy man and brave batir. Another ritual is almost forgotten. In old times, the child was carried under a horse stirrup, which belonged to the respected and honorable person. This person blessed the child, and when the boy grew up, he was told whose horse stirrup he was carried under. This raised the consciousness and responsibility in him. Little nomads grew up listening to songs and stories, where a horse was a friend and a faithful companion of a man. Kazakh folklore has a lot of poems, songs, cues, or instrumental plays. The history of Batir and his tulpar magical horse was a main storyline in the epics. When did Kazakh man become Batir? At the time when he found a worthy horse. During this search, he came to relatives on his mother's side, to the other relatives, went to various places. It is perfectly described in the legends. For example, Koblandi Batir first saddled a bay horse with a mole, and later his wife, Kurka, finds him a horse, Taiburul. She tells her husband that among such mares, a roan fowl was born, and that exactly this fowl would become a worthy horse for Koblandi. Or let's see another example on Kaban by Batir and his horse Kubas. Relatives of Batir had obscure fowl. Kaban Bai chose him and said that this fowl will be his horse in the future. About decades ago, almost every family kept the child's saddle. In Kazakh, it is called Ashamay Yer. They kept it till the baby starts making his first steps. His fowl, Basire, was also growing. All these things prepared the child for the next great event. A ceremony called putting the child on the saddle, Atka Minguzu, was performed with the boy at the age of three to five years. This is a rite of passage from walking man. He became a horseman, he sat in the saddle being an infant, and got off the horse as a small jigget. 
Even today, some Kazakh boys held the reins in their right and kamshi in their left hand for once in their lives. The ancient ritual of putting the boy on the saddle, ashamayir, is performed in many families. It is a tribute to tradition. Meanwhile, for our ancestors, it had some more serious meaning. Only after becoming the horseman, boy could take his place in the nomadic society. A person without a horse in the steppe was considered as a poor, miserable man material advances have left behind. Ethnographers remember one more ritual where the young nomad took part. Migrations of Kazakhs was not simply moving from point A to point B. It was a celebration, a holiday. People put on the best clean clothes, dressed up as if they were going to the theater. They covered the camel's hump with a carpet, decorated his mane with a pheasant feather. In front of the caravan, the boy on Ashami was coming. His horse was led first, maybe a hundred or five hundred meters. This action was done with the hope that he would drive the caravans and rule people in the future. The boy who learned riding should have passed another test. He had to leave his home for the first time and ride alone. There is an alternate ritual related to this journey. When the boy went on a journey for the first time, a ritual called Tokim Kagar, which is translated as shaking of horse blankets, was performed. The boy could be 10, 12, or 7 to 8 years old. He had to go on a journey, for example, from Almaty to Uzunagash on his own. Ritual Tokim Kagar was performed in his honor. People of the village gathered and came to his house. It was not a big celebration, they just used to tell him good wishes. Guests were served dinner, then a senior Aksakal, an elder person, gave the blessing. Ritual shaking of the horse blankets is not a forgotten ritual. Historian Ahmed Toktabai participated in this ritual in the middle of the 20th century. I have a childhood memory when a six-year-old boy had to leave winter camp and reach summer camp. The distance between them was 30 kilometers. It was in 1959 saw the performance of this ritual. It was decided to arrange Tokim Kagar in honor of this boy. The table was set and Aksakal gave blessings to this child. Just think, a six-year-old boy is going on a journey of 30 kilometers from winter to the summer camp alone. Tokim Kagar is a very significant ritual. For all the responsibility fallen on the boy, he held the reins in his hands, he led his horse, he went on a journey on his own to finish some mission or to help an adult. From that moment, the young rider was responsible for the harness. Growing up, the boy understood that horse riding is more than just pleasure and excellent skill is the way of involvement to the certain kind of work and reverence of the horse as a friend and companion for life. Kazakhs have a saying, the horse is the wings of the horseman of Jigit. On the first horse ride and throughout the life, the boy had a strong relationship with his horse. Even after death, the man was entombed with his faithful companion with his horse. There is a special mourning ritual connected with the death of a horse. There is a Kazakh proverb, the one who finds a source of labor finds the wealth. For Kazakh, livestock was such a source of labor. Families taught their sons to manage livestock from a very young age.
There was the tradition connected to this, Jasanao, which is translated as definition of the age. Ritual performed for six to seven year old boys marked the beginning of the boys' involvement in maintaining the household. It was also the initiation. The ritual, let's say, designated the age category. This does not mean that the boy hadn't sat on horseback before. No, he sat in the saddle, but he did not lead his horse himself. The horse was led by one of the adults. When the boy grew older, he sat alone on horseback, holding the reins. Kazakhs call this age as the age of the lambs, because the boy began grazing the lambs at this age. Then the teenager was grazing sheep. After getting older, he started grazing the cattle. This period was called the age of the horses. Herding the cattle in winter and summer is not so easy work. To save the cattle, the one needs a great endurance. Tradition, Shasanao allowed to see how young Jigits was overcoming one obstacle after another. Seven-year-old boys could participate in horse races. The most popular kinds of games among children and adolescents were equestrian ones, Baiga, that is races, Saiz, that is taking down from the horse, Audar Spak, that is martial art, Tizginge, Talasao, that is struggle for the reins, contest on maintaining balance, tug of war. Nowadays, many of these games have become the kinds of national sport. I saw a situation where Chinese Kazakhs were arranging baiga, and there was one woman with a small boy. She was holding him in her arms and the baby was crying. One jigit rode the horse to their side and put the baby in his saddle, and the baby boy immediately stopped crying. He was only three years old. There is one proverb which states, Kazakh sitting on horseback is a snow leopard. He climbs off his horse and he is a rabbit. We should revive the spirit of Kazakhs. Of course, today it is impossible to make all 8 million of our men ride horses. We can teach boys to be involved in horse culture. Earlier in France and Russia, there were the provincial schools where lessons of equestrian dressage were compulsory. These lessons are still practiced in French schools. As you know, our entire culture, life, history, psychology, all are connected with a horse. We should tell our children about the history of the nomads and about the horse culture. Kazakh poet Tolikian Ayberginov has the following lines. If you hold the mane of the horse from childhood, you will have your heart on fire. If you ride the horse from childhood, you will feel the spirit of freedom and power. The step boys started learning riding, martial arts and other skills from a very young age. It was an entire life stance and a special culture, a kind of the step university, which every Jigit graduated from till his adulthood. Kazakh village does not exist in the way it used to be, and there are no nomads, wandering people.
but most of prairie folkways and traditions still surround us. We follow them, but we do not always know what they mean. Bakhit Kairbekov, a poet, 